Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a quick unboxing to do for you. Um, this box here is from Tuya Knives, uh, Dave Warren from Tuya, and uh, they did a sort of collaboration uh, with, uh, crap, what's the name of the company? Knight's Edge or uh, something like that, and the knife is called the Templar. Um, now, um, I do, um, I, I'll put a link below to both, uh, you know, to you, and I believe it's Knight's Edge. I, I might be making that up. Hopefully we'll find out. Um, and obviously in my first impressions and full review, I will put the correct information. Um, it's a knife I just kind of saw on their website, to you's website, and I asked if, um, I could check one out and Dave was nice enough to send me one to check out um, and I will uh, do the review and then I'll send it around a, a couple other channels uh, if anybody in the group decides to uh, purchase it they'll get a little bit of a discount but um, it's basically a pass around knife and um, yeah it was sent in by Dave from Tuya unboxing knife guys oh, this is the first time you're gonna see this in a video is my field duty from Liang Ma that has been modded by my buddy MB Wild. Uh, just absolutely stunning. Look at the bronze anno he did on all the hardware and scales and clip and everything, the liners. It just came out so fantastic. And this knife is just to die for, guys. It's just one of the best knives you can get. Uh, it is so good. So, yeah, let's get into this bad boy. I got the AC on because it's hot, so pardon me. All right, nothing else in there. Got a little envelope. Oh, more cutting. Ha ha. Like a hot knife through them butters. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh. It's definitely like my favorite knife right now. All right, so we just have the box here. Tuya knife right there. And then it says SW, so I guess that's Stonewash. Shit, I think there was two, there was a satin too. I would have totally asked for satin um, had I had a choice. I didn't even think of that. But it's not my knife, so it doesn't matter. Unless I fall in love with it, then I'm going to be ordering one in satin. So I'm going to shut up now. So here is a card from Tuya, Dave Warren, good dude. Pause and read. Uh, hit him up on Instagram at Tuya Knives USA. There is a little cloth in here, Tuya cloth. And that is it. And there's this little knife in here. Interesting little guy. So here it is. This is the knife. Uh, you have carbon fiber on the show side. You have titanium. It's a titanium frame lock. You got a nice little uh, milled clip here. Pretty deep carry. Um, interesting lines. Kind of like this line right down the center uh, on both sides, which is interesting. It stands proud of everything else. I like that. Interesting pivot design. Just a little uh, shield looking thing, I guess you'd call it. And then you have what's becoming very popular is a vertical style flipper. Um, I first started seeing them on Vero, so uh, let's give it a flip now. Small knife, thin knife. So lock bar pressure could be an issue here as a lefty. All right, flips out, of course. Uh, you have this interesting blade, wow. This is in M390, uh, look at that blade. This is the stone wash. Again, I would prefer a satin, and it does come in a satin. Uh, I think there's only like 20 of these left on their website. Um, it's actually got fantastic action. Tuya is one of the companies that I actually trust with a detent. Yeah, it's spot on that detent. Now, let me see if being lefty is an issue and put my thumb on the lock bar. No, does not seem to be. Yeah, I even like I'm even pushing on it right now. All right, that time it did it, but I'm putting a good amount of pressure and it's still flying out. So I can just put my hand anywhere 
and flip and we're good. So that's fantastic to know. Um, uh, I don't feel maybe the slightest bit of play and uh, no lock rock or anything like that. I mean, I haven't touched this knife. Now, I know Dave is very particular like me, so he may have tuned this already. Um, but if this is how it comes, just straight out of the box, I mean, that is impressive. Dead, dead nut center. Look at that swedge, how it kind of makes it look like an arrow. You see that? How it kind of makes the blade look like an arrow down at the bottom. I really like that design. Uh, tight tolerances. Uh, thin blade stock. Or at least they make it look that way by cutting this swedge into it. Uh, has a good edge on it. Interesting blade shape, right? It's kind of just a, it's not even a, I guess you can't call it a drop point because the point doesn't drop at all. It's kind of just like a straight point. What would you call that? A straight back? Is that a thing? Look at that. It's dead straight all the way across the top, the whole knife. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and then it's kind of all belly you know on the back it's so cool i like this thing a lot guys i i saw it and liked it and wanted to check it out out of curiosity really um but now that i have it it's actually really nice uh i am impressed by this knife guys now i don't know what these go for at all um uh, you know that could obviously change things if it's like 250 bucks but um, if this thing is, you know, 150 bucks or something, uh, I think it's a fantastic knife for that. Uh, we'll see. I'll have to look it up. Uh, nice little knife. I mean, guys, this thing is, I'm pretty blown away here. Let me try the clip. All right, we have an issue. Oh, man, I can't even get it in my pocket. I can't get this in my pocket gotta walk it in my pocket um this clip is not wanting to budge at all let me try this one jeez i cannot i just can't get it in guys that's what she said i don't know if it's my pocket particularly i know these are a little thicker but they're just regular jeans let me see how it works on just like this ripped piece of whatever yeah, it, it, it went on there, but I mean, it's not easy. I need something I can, sorry, I'm trying to think. I, do I have a hank? Yes, I do have a hank. So if you have pockets this thin, <laughs> you can see my problem, right? It's just not, It just doesn't want to clear that bottom part. It has to hop up. Oh, got it. Yeah, this clip is an issue, guys. Wow. So that's kind of sad because, like, the rest of the knife I'm really loving. Uh, but if I can't carry a knife, I mean, there's no point in having a knife, right? I might talk to Dave and see if, you know, I don't know, maybe there's something I could do to bend it or something. It's literally, like, flush and there's no ramp or anything so it's like you know basically renders it useless so uh, but yeah other than the clip being a real big issue uh i am pleasant pleasantly surprised by the uh two year knives templar here um which is uh cool because uh, i don't get pleasantly surprised very often by knives uh that clip is kind of killing it for me though uh, this uh, carbon fiber feels pretty good. Uh, it's kind of a standard sort of checkered looking kind, but uh, it feels good. Nice piece of it. The lock bar is fantastic, guys. It just slides right out of the way um, with no issue at all. It's so good. And then it drops. I mean, this thing's going to be an absolute, you know, uh, smooth as possible guillotine once it breaks in or you drop some KPL on the detent ball. Uh, you can see that. I love this design. Um, really happy with this, minus the clip. So, lock up, fantastic. So, yeah, that is the Tuya Templar, guys. I really appreciate you watching. 
I absolutely love you. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you.